is Lucy from Lucy's Corsetry, and I am here in Austin, Texas at the Timeless Trends headquarters. With me is Sarah, who works for Timeless Trends, and I'm going to be dressing her today. Today we're going to show you how to place a corset on a friend. So today what I am holding in my hands is the 2015 edition long cut under bust. And first of all, what you want to do when you get the corset in the mail is to make sure that the laces are completely loosened in the back so that you have very short pull loops at the waistline or none at all. And if you were wondering which way of the corset is up and which way is down, there are a couple of different ways that you can figure this out. One is to look at the garter tabs at the bottom of this corset because this is what keeps your stockings up. Secondly, the hip ties are always at the hips, so you know that it's going to be at the bottom of the corset. And thirdly, you look for the knot at the bottom of the laces, which is also always going to be at the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask Sarah to please put her arms up so that I can swing this around her, catch it on the other side, and fasten the bust. Now, I prefer to fasten the bust at the second loop first, because if you just fasten the first loop, it has a lot of hinge action going on like that. If I fasten it from the second loop down, there's a lot less of that hinge action happening. And then I work my way down, one loop at a time, and just try and make sure that the dress is not getting caught here the very bottom, and then don't forget to make sure that this top one is also fastened. Now I'm going to ask Sarah to go ahead and make sure that the corset feels centered on her body. And what Sarah is doing is making sure that the waist tape of the corset is also centered on her natural waist, which is underneath her ribcage and above her hip bones. She's also making sure that the top of the bust is uh, centered at her sternum, and the bottom of the bust is centered around her pubic bone area. So what I'm going to do when lacing up is I'm going to take the pull loops first and take in a little bit of the slack at the waistline here. Now you'll notice that the laces at the top and the bottom feel very loose. You know, they're sort of hanging down. So I prefer to work from the top first. If you prefer to start from the bottom, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that you start from the edge of the corset and work your way towards the waist. And I pull up the slack using the pull loops at the waistline. Now I go to the bottom and I take up some slack at the bottom there and redistribute it into the pull loops at the waist once more. And I keep working this way from the top down to the waist and then from the bottom up to the waist until it's at the desired tightness. Now when you're doing this on a friend, it's very important to have clear communication with the person you are lacing up and making sure that you're not going too tight for her. So, Sarah, how are you feeling? Oh, you can go much tighter. Okay. <laughs> and your friend might tell you to stop completely at any point, and uh, she might tell you just pause for a little bit so that she can readjust. So, is it still centered on your body? You need to wiggle a little bit? Yep, that's good. Okay and we'll just continue in this fashion. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can actually pull the laces. So what you can see me doing here is that I'm holding each side of the corset with one hand and then pulling the X's with the other hand. And this helps to prevent the, bow, uh, the bones from bowing at the back of the corset. The other way that you can do this is to pull with both hands. And what I do is I keep my fingers kind of close to the grommets here and I pull towards the center like this. And then I work my way up. And you just work in the way that you find most comfortable. And just making sure that the gap remains as parallel as possible and as comfortable for your wearer. You'll also notice that as I'm pulling on this, and tightening it more, that when I pull the bottom part of the bunny ears, I pull up. And as I pull the top of the bunny ears, I pull down. And this is because if you pull up with the top bunny ears, all of a sudden, you know, the, these laces are coming down and then you're pulling up. That creates more friction. If you want as, the least amount of friction as possible, then pulling down will feel a lot easier and help it lace a lot easier and faster as well. So how are you feeling now, Sarah? 
We've got about a three inch gap in the back here, and I'm not going to go too terribly tight with this. <laughs> um, but Sarah, how are your hips feeling right now? They're a little tight, but I can let out the hip ties once we've got the, the back laces tightened and tightened in a row. All right. So Sarah has a beautiful natural hip spring. So many of the courses, she needs a little bit of extra space in the hips when she's wearing off the rack. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a pretty heavy hand in the very <laughs> waist of the corset to make sure that the bones are not bowing out badly at the waistline here. We want to make sure that it's as parallel as possible, or in the very least, the bones are not bending and twisting in their channels. So now that that is tied off, Sarah can go ahead and let out the hip ties and release any sort of pressure on her hips. and she can go ahead and tie it to her desired tightness so that it's comfortable for her. And that is how you lace your friend into a corset. Now, when it comes time for your friend to want to get out of the corset, if they're unable to do it themselves, then here's how you can help them. You don't necessarily need to touch the hip ties at all. They can stay the way they are, especially if they're going to be wearing the same corset again in the future, they might not need to adjust it. Although it is a good idea to make sure that it's comfortable every single time you put it on. So what I'm gonna do here is first I'm going to let out the bow at the waist here. And then I'm going to basically do the exact reverse thing that I was doing when I was tightening up. I let out a little bit of slack at the top and then I let out a little bit of slack at the bottom here. And you can see with the ribbons here, it's basically loosening on its own. But if it doesn't, if it's fairly you know, grippy and it has a lot of friction with the laces, what you can do is you can grab each side of the corset and sort of wiggle it open like this. So once all the slack is let out, you can basically turn your friend around and you can undo the busk here. And I prefer to start at the very top and work my way down to the bottom here. So basically, you're going to basically do a hinge action and squeeze the two sides of the corset together until you get to the very bottom here. And voila, your friend is free. <laughs> so if you have any questions on how to lace your friend in a corset or get them out of the corset, feel free to contact Timeless Trends at their contact page. You can contact them via phone or by email.